this is uh, old Villa Rica right here. Uh, there's hardly anybody on this street, but uh, if you want to come down to Villa Rica, call this place South Chandler Street. It's located here in, in Villa Rica. Villa Rica don't have too much to offer, so trying to capture the street of Villa Rica here today. But uh, this is old Villa Rica Street here in Georgia. Anyway, this is Villa Rica Street here in Georgia. I'm trying to capture here. Hey man, what's in Villa Rica you like? What about Villa Rica you like? I mean, be honest with me. I'm all uh, kind of like documenting Villa Rica. What's so fascinating about Villa Rica and this building here? Yeah. Okay, you're visiting, right? So you don't know nothing about Villa Rica. Okay, so you're just coming through. So you can't give me uh, Man, a. So what's your impression about it? Like, you know, uh, a nice, nice county, nice calm, chill county. A uh, quiet? Yeah, quiet county. Yeah. Away from the city. From the city? Yeah. This so this is historical Villa Rica? Yeah. Historical people. So to speak. Yeah, like so what's interesting about it? I'm trying to find it out, man. Tell me. What's interesting about it? I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. I don't, <laughs> okay. I don't be out here. Okay, brother. Yep. All right, man. Uh, Villa Rica. You don't know what Villa Rica is about, but anyway, I need to find out somebody. This is uh, actually on the street of Villa Rica here. I'm looking at. I said Timothy McRae, attorney at law. So I gotta find out from someone who actually understands Villa Rica. I want to share it with me. It seemed like a. Uh, People, the people that I run into so far, they have no understanding of what Villa Rica is. So, but I'm in a quest today to find out about Villa Rica. What about Villa Rica? You know what I mean? So, I have to wait and find out who live in the city and how Villa Rica came into existence. I hope someone can tell me because that's what I'm trying to find out today. Villa Rica. Yeah, so I don't know. Seems like it's a dead town. It's somewhere where, where um, nothing is happening. Nothing exciting about it. So I guess it seems like it's two sides of Villa Rica. I'm trying to understand here in this city so let's see if someone can tell me about the, uh, where Morgan Freeman have his stuff right they have something like that right so okay what does that signify this whole entire part I mean building there what signify I'm not sure you don't know what this was what the, what's the, Actually, they changed. What's, it used to. Uh, what's a painting on a wall mean? I don't know. You don't know? But you know, this is the gold city. The who? Villa Rica is the gold city. Oh, gold was found here? Mm -hmm. Mining here? Yeah, it was found. It's it's, real, it's just powder so, dust. So, where's, where's the gold mine here? Well, it Historical was, gold it mine. It was uh, mined in the rivers. Oh, in the, in the creek bed. So, that, where was it at? Everywhere. Well, is that? But it, that's what the city was. Okay. Big signature, I guess, effort for the city was uh, gold. Okay. That was what it was based Someone on. discovered gold here. But yeah, I don't know what their little uh, yeah. signature is now. You know what I, you know how I interpret that? Of uh, theater back in the day, when people used to go to the movies, and those are the audience watching these particular characters. Well, in that's the movie. what this place is called, you know, the uh, 
Cinema, cinema. Oh, so, so my interpretation is correct. Yeah, that's what it's called. The, the characters is like they inside a movie house and watching movie back in it. Has eight. nothing to do with the cinema inside. Okay, but it has the cinema name. Okay, I got you. So that probably is what that is. So watching. So this is a, so you probably yeah. got movie stars over here. So. Yeah, yeah. So oh, the Stone News. Oh, Bankhead Stone uh, Challenger Street. So this is the original terror fair of Villarica. This street always been here from the night 1800. Yeah, it goes all the way downtown. All the, the way land, downtown. To the rough part. It's a city down there. About 45 minutes you'll be in downtown Atlanta. Oh, you mean Atlanta? Yeah. You're talking about a highway. No, you, this road goes straight through Atlanta. Yeah. So I know 78 all the way goes through Alabama. Veteran Highway. Yep. 78 goes to Alabama and go all the way down to um, uh, Atlanta. I understand that, but I was talking about the city, the city itself. No, this is about it right here. So this is it? What's on the opposite side? Well, once you, uh, over here is another part of the city. Another part of the city? have a real nice little restaurant over there, but they closed down. Okay. There's still a couple of little restaurants and stuff like that. So if you, if you want to tell me something distinctive about Villa Rica, right, that I can take back in my composition, what is it? I'd say that the police are real nice. <laughs> okay, she, law I enforcement can, is real nice. I'm a social worker a bit, and I, okay. I'm in recovery myself. I quit drinking about eight years ago. Okay. I had a homeless shelter up here, right at the top of the hill for about okay. three years. So, so, so uh, I'd say we have one of the best, most uh, law enforcement agencies around. Okay. But what we need is, uh, what we need is some social groups to help, like a, a place of soup line. We don't have any kitchens or anything. Any okay, so you you speaking from you speaking from your personal perspective. Yeah. As far as uh, I've only been out here about seven years. What you see should happen to accommodate people with that type of uh. What the what the town is missing? Huh? What the city's missing? Yeah. Okay, I understand that. But I thought the Coca Cola was actually discovered in Villarica. Uh, there was something else you were known for. I forgot my buddy was studying the other day. Uh, Is it Coca-Cola? Uh, Some guy had a uh, was a Confederate general and he was looking for painkiller and he came up with a syrup and he added with uh, carbonated water and it became Coca-Cola. Oh no, I'm sorry, it was Bremen. Bremen was known for the clothing. Okay. The clothing, the next set, two towns over that way. Uh-huh. Uh, it's another city over? But basically, Villa Rica uh, it was just based on the gold, is what the name and everything. Oh, was the for. gold, okay, that's a gold. But I would just say, all in all, the people around here, uh, good okay. So, it's uh, what is the social uh behavior like in Villa Rica? What's that? So, here earlier, right? Is yeah, that a is, bike trail over here? Oh, so it's a Mirror bike Lake. club, yeah. There's some million dollar homes, it's a golf cart community, okay, right over the uh. Okay. Railroad tracks on that side. Okay, so that's that's a lot. I've seen a lot of people go in there. What is it in there? You can probably ask people that are a lot more informed than me. You know? Oh no, but I see a lot of people going in here. Why are they going in there? Watch football. It's a bar. Oh, it's a bar. Okay, yeah. this is social part of Villa Rica right here. Yeah. Where people going to the sport bar? Tablet. The sport I think, bar. I don't drink, but I'm going to go in there and eat and okay. watch football. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Nice. <laughs> Nice, thanks for the information, man. You, All right, you take care. All right. Villa Rica, my place, here. So this is Villa Rica on the corner. You know, it's interesting because Villa Rica uh, has a sport bar, they said. And a sport bar is where most of the people go in Villa Rica. And this is the main attraction in Villa Rica, the sport bar. So I'm gonna walk further down to see if I can come up with other things that are distinctive in Villa Rica here in Georgia. I know this emblem is always nice. So let me capture it. Okay, I'm standing in front of our Bankhead, Bankhead and Challenger Street. This street will actually take you all the way down to our to Atlanta, the city of Atlanta, it goes through a lot of, if it goes north, I mean south, it goes to Atlanta. If it goes 
north, it goes to Alabama. So this is uh, Villarica as I see it. It's not too much to it, so I will be exploring it some more on the opposite side of Villarica. See what I can come up with. But this is Villarica downtown. An aspect of Villarica called Main Street Villarica. It's called Main Street Villarica. And it's nothing else to it. The historically rusted town, but that's it in Villarica. Or what can I say? It's a dead, like a dono city. And most of Georgia is dead like a dono city any anyway. most of small town georgia like i said a dead like a dono but it's fascinating he said this place is where they found gold and uh so i will actually explore it a little bit further to see what else i can come up with in this city but i haven't come up with much here for the long ride that i take that i took not too much hair but uh I'm gonna see if I can interpret something about this place but it's not too much hair in the city of Villarica except for the sport bar here in Villarica so so this is sport bar in Villarica right there where most of the people come to and that's it really that's Villarica from my vantage point here. Now I'm going to scan it, but this is what we call Villarica. Uh, music center so I'm gonna see if I scan Villarica music center from this angle here and see if I can interpret it this is Villarica antique stores here and as you can see we try to revitalize the city here uh, and make it into something and I'm trying to do that too revitalize my photograph of Villarica see if I can say there's something distinctive about it but uh, I'm across the street railroad track and these railroads goes through Villarica and goes through Douglasville and the heart of Villarica. Okay. Well, most people like sort of like hang out in the city. I guess in the afternoon. Yeah, this is uh, where most people hang out in Villa Rica. It's nothing else to it, so.
Yeah, so. I don't know why my camera's screwing up, but anyway, this is the town of Villarica. I gotta put this thing away because I'm not getting any good service out of it. So I'm gonna use my other camera, like this one here, to capture my photos and my area of Villarica. And see if I can get something distinctive, but I don't see it really. I don't see it. This sign here said downtown Villarica. And it's a strip of uh, a strip of road that goes into right this area. So if you're looking for a nice shot, uh, a boardwalk shot, this will be it. This will be it. Anyway, downtown Villarica, and uh, this is what I can come up with just knowing that this thing is uh, a nice walk. Okay. Villarica haven't impressed me so far. And this is all I can come up with, so. Yeah, this is it, downtown Villarica. City on the move. Yeah, uh, amphitheater site. And see uh, if there's anything distinctive that I can come up with uh, from this angle. Uh, so we call the uh, auditorium amphitheater here and I'm move around to we call the stage itself here in Villarica this is the uh, amphitheater stage here the welcome center call this place a welcome center and the amphitheater right here in Villarica so this is it really uh there's nothing else to this place here but a little strip over there and uh the amphitheater i don't see no saw a bunch of halloween people there but uh it's a welcome center right here in villarica Seem like someone died, so you gotta give them respect. And this mirror on the wall here is symbolic. I wanna take it from a distance. So, I guess because gold was discovered here, so it's the coolest spot of a city here. The rest is nice and warm, but I'm getting ready to head out and head back to uh, going through Douglasville and Powder Spring and all those different places. So I'm gonna capture the thank you for visiting Villarica over there and see what I can come up with. This is a sign that said thank you for visiting Villarica. Trying to plaster myself in it. Golden City. Cruisers, Villarica, Georgia. These are 1930 and 19 whatever cars here they depict on the wall for their main attraction here in Villarica. So 
I want to get a little closer to the sign itself. Eureka main attraction. This happened to be one called the, uh, the Golden City, Villarica, Georgia. And there's one of some of their mirror on the wall. And this ground has an amphitheater. So uh, it's some place that attractive, but uh, it's nothing is of significance to the city. So I have to capture it to say something that I came here and saw. I'm gonna try to take the grounds of of this golden city here in the amphitheater uh, and uh, let's sit here. The Mill Amphitheater 2010, uh, Jay Collins Mayor, Villarica City Council, uh, Berlin Bess, uh, Rusty Dean, Patrick H H uh, Hendrickson, Woody Holland, and Shirley Mackman. Those are the people who actually uh, help and the establishment of this, uh, how you doing? Of this little city here called Villarica. So we actually capturing this, the scenic of uh, Villarica here today. Uh, and some people like me here. Uh, trying to understand Villarica. So this is what Villa Rica has to offer. Amphitheater and its beauty here. Called the City of Gold in Villa Rica. Are you guys from Villa Rica? You all from Villa Rica? What? What city? Huh? Oh, from Atlanta. Knoxville? That's a, that's a beautiful city in Tennessee, right? You know, what, what happened to Pigeon Forge? It was underwater. Oh, not, not this time. I saw in the news. Yeah, I saw in the news. It was a beautiful place when I went through there from Knoxville, old Knoxville. And I, I drove all the way into Gallatinburg, all across Smoky Mountain National Park. What a beauty when you see those mountain it's nothing else in a city but this mirror here in the wall and a small little part of it. So this is Villarica, city of Villarica, Georgia. They call it a gold, golden city because they say gold would discover here in the stream. That sort of track a lot. Villarica Mills Amphitheater, wide shot. One of the significant part of Villarica, and then they call the Welcome Center in Villarica.
Look at all these people here in this line here in Douglasville. It's a concert going on here. I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, it's a big concert here with somebody. People going to the concert. I don't know who they are, but they're fanning. They're here. I don't know who's performing, but it's a big concert here in Douglasville. People are actually out here. So who's performing? Who's performing? Michael Brown. Michael Brown. Who's he? Oh, the get up side. You ever heard of the get up sound? Uh huh. The get up. That's him. Oh, that's him. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you like him? Oh, he's good. Really he's good. good. He's good. Yeah. What make you? What attract you to him? Yeah, he's family first of all. Now, then on top of that, he's uh, hip hop. He's, uh, he's popular country and uh, R&B together. Oh, R&B. He's yeah, hip hop together. Okay. okay. All right. So that's good, man. Yeah, I like that. Country, really I like good. that. I like that. Yeah. So you're a fan. You're a fan, huh? You're a fan, huh? You ever fan of Brock or Band? Yeah. Are you a fan? Yeah. So that's why you're coming to see him. From all the way from where? New York. New York City. The big airport. You kidding me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, get up and bust. All right. Nice. Nice people here from New York. Uh, from all over the place, man. All right. Franco, come in, Queen. They have homecoming dance. Oh man, you're a beauty. You like um sugar. Brown sugar here in Douglasville. Georgia. Sugar, look at that. Brown sugar. Oh, you're a country and western guy, huh? Okay. Don't be shy, you look nice. You're a fan of, uh, you going to the concert? I'm sorry. You going to the concert? No. What concert? Bronco Brown! Everybody down there gonna see Bronco Brown. Bronco Brown. I never heard of him. That's how I had to. <laughs> Big concert down there, you missing it. Uh, tell me who he is, come on, tell me. He's a, I gotta, I know, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. He's a country artist. He's a country artist. Bronco Brown. <laughs> Fan, right? Bronco Brown fan? Oh, yeah. Bronco Brown, you like Bronco Brown? Um, he can uh, we're new, so we're just kind of going to see what's that. Oh, this impromptu for me. Oh, okay. I never heard of him, so. Oh, really? I, yeah. yeah. I'm learning about him today. Oh, good. He's a country and western singer. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. Music, so. All right, go and see him. Enjoy a lot of DJ. You fell in love, that's why you end up here. Where? You end? Yeah. No. My mom. I actually okay. used to live in um, Stockbridge. Oh, Stockbridge. Um, yeah, but my mom lived here. Yeah. And I had to move, so I was like, okay. You know, I went to Stockbridge too. Closer. You know what I did when I, I did a, we call a southern tour mm -hmm. from Atlanta all the way down to Albany. Came back around, came back through, came through Stock Bridge, mm -hmm. uh, Plain, Georgia, because I was on a quest to find out the historical perspective of Georgia. And you, you from Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. Stock Bridge. Tell me about Stock Bridge. Because um, a lot of Virgin Islanders moved to Stock Bridge. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why, but a lot of them live there. Um, I originally moved to Stock Bridge. Um, I just, where I was at, I thought the school system, well, my personal opinion, the school system was better in Henry County than it was in DeKalb County. Okay. So that was the reason why I moved yeah. to Stockbridge, because of the school system. And a lot of them go and to McDowell. McDowell? They live in McDowell. 
McDonald's. McDonald's, that's what we call it. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, Virgin Islanders move to Mac McDonald's. Okay. I guess because they have the uh, mall there. The mall? They have a big oh, open the, uh, mall. The outlets? The outlet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The and a racetrack or something. The, uh, they got a freeway. Yeah. The, um, yeah. Yeah, but you know, you know, you know what I like about Douglasville? What? They have a black man. Yeah. And what happened? If, that, that is where it used to be if, a bunch of white people. If you, if you actually understand, not if you, I shouldn't use this word because you do. You're sharp enough to understand, right? There has been a transformation. Oh yeah. Taking place in all small town, yeah. town of America. Yeah. And this was happening. Okay. A lot of small town America was exclusive to the brothers and sisters mm -hmm. when they was coming up with the parents, right? Mm -hmm. And they came to the educated town, got educated, and went back and said, I'm going to be the man. It happened in Illinois, it happened in Tennessee, it happened in Alabama. So it's a wave of brothers and sisters mm -hmm. taking over the town, when I say taking over, making it prosperous, mm -hmm. making it inclusive. And that's what I like about Douglasville. Because Douglasville co taking a copy of another town called Powder Spring. Okay. Another brother did the same thing. He came in, he knocked down all the old, and he put up a new. Mm -hmm. And he had vineyard like they have down here in, um, in Douglasville. Mm -hmm. He built an amphitheater. So I know they're talking to each other, right? And they have concert and they're bringing people and all the people come there for fish fry, fish festival to call it, fireworks, uh, free concert, like what they're doing here. And then I move over to Smona and they copy and doing the same thing. And I move over to Kennesaw and they're doing the same thing because once the brothers become in charge, they have an inclusive society where everybody feels. That's why I like about small town America now. The inclusive mm -hmm. atmosphere. See so many chocolate and different ethnicity going through this city and that fascinates me because I'm from the Virgin Island. And I'm accustomed to that. I'm accustomed to seeing all the beautiful ethnic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little, a little joke, right? I went to one of our favorite beaches in St. Thomas, right? Called Cookie Point. I went out there. My name is Leon. I went out there, right? And on the beach, nothing but chocolate people. Beautiful, beautiful. I have, I'm on the internet too. I have my YouTube channel, right? And okay. you can find it. You can see what I'm talking about. Ain't nothing about Walk right there. Walk right there. Step right there. Walk right there. Yeah, Sabrina the Queen here in Douglasville. I love it. Look at her. Not only from Douglasville, but from Stockbridge. Look at the fine woman here, sister here. In part of spring, homecoming night. spring. Part of this spring. Yeah. What's her name? Her name is who? Yeah. Her name is. They're here tonight in part of spring. Oh, you should be. Wow. I'm nice. Homecoming <laughs> queen. Okay. And there's a familiola. Fam fam familia. Familia. Yeah. And I capture them and I put them a part of my storyline. And they become one of, one of my storyline. Which means when you go up there, you're not doing anything outrageous for me to get uh for me to get any uh we call points. I'm capturing real situation where real people is part of my story. And this is homecoming, right? So are you the queen? They didn't select anybody yet? What school you go to? Which one? McEachin Woods. Okay, McEachin Woods got some fine people, man. All right, fine, fine, fine. Okay, seeing nice me. Nice. 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 Okay, look at yeah. the dad of the year. Hey, take a picture. Yeah. 